Greetings everyone, I am Shubham from MATLAB Helper. In this video, I will discuss the slingshot effect and how it can be studied using MATLAB. Let's get started. The first question that comes to mind is what is slingshot effect? The slingshot effect uses the relative motion and gravity of a planet or other astronomical object to alter the path and speed of the spacecraft. You might know it by its synonyms, gravitational slingshot, gravity assist, a gravity assist maneuver or swing by maneuver. After knowing its definition, the next question that comes to our mind is why and where it is used. See the spacecraft that we use to do space travels or to send our satellites or rovers to other planets like Mars can only carry a limited amount of fuel. One might argue that why don't we increase the amount of fuel? But with the newly added fuel mass, we will need more fuel and powerful rocket engines to carry it to space. With the limitation on fuel, scientists started looking for ways to accelerate the spacecraft without needing more fuel. At this place comes the slingshot effect to our aid. The effect is usually performed to save propellant and reduce expenses. The slingshot effect is also used to either accelerate or deaccelerate a spaceship, that is, to increase or decrease its speed and change the direction in which it is headed thus changing its trajectory. Now let's discuss how the slingshot effect works. Imagine a spacecraft which is traveling toward a planet which is also moving in its orbit. As it approaches the planet, it is caught in its gravitational field. Here two things will happen. First there is an increase or decrease in the spacecraft speed. This change in velocity depends on whether the spacecraft is approaching or leaving the planet. Second there will be a change in the spacecraft direction. When the spacecraft approaches from the planet's orbital velocity direction, there is an increase in the spacecraft. Similarly, speed decreases when the spacecraft moves away from the planet's orbital velocity direction. In both types of maneuvers, the speed gained from approaching and lost from leaving is nearly identical. Also, the energy transferred compared to the planet's total orbital energy is negligible. The sum of the kinetic energies of both bodies remain constant. By controlling the approach, the outcome of the maneuver can be manipulated and the spacecraft can acquire some of the planet's velocity relative to the sun. Now that we know how it works theoretically, let's do some math to prove this effect. Consider two bodies having mass m1 and m2, having initial velocities u1 and u2 and final velocity v1 and v2. The mass m1, velocity u1 and v1 are that of the spacecraft. Similarly, the mass m2, velocity u2 and v2 correspond to the planet. According to the law of conservation of momentum, m1u1 plus m2u2 equals m1v1 plus m2v2. Accordingly, the kinetic energy will also be conserved and we will get the following equation. Solving for v1 and v2, we get this result. Since the spacecraft's mass is much smaller than that of the planet, we will get this result. These equations tell us that the spacecraft reverses direction and its speed increases while the planet's velocity is unchanged. Now let's model this effect in MATLAB to study its working. Before going ahead, I would like to highlight that only 6.3% of our viewers are subscribed to our channel. If you love our work, then show us your support by subscribing to our channel. We will start with some initialization condition to set the initial velocity and displacement in the XY plane. The simulation time step and step size and the planet's displacement and speed, which will be approached by our spacecraft. Now we will use the equation for kinetic energy and the velocity derived earlier. We will use different sections in our code to calculate the energy and speed. We have to loop through the equation to get a result for each time instance. For the plot part, I have introduced some modifications so that the result thus obtained looks a bit neat. If you want to access the MATLAB codes developed by us, visit the blog with the link in the description and purchase the blog resources. Now let's run the code and check our results. Let me solve the mystery of these graphs for you. The first graph shows the relation between the spacecraft speed and separation distance between it and the planet. We can see that with the time, the separation between the spacecraft and the planet decreases and the speed of the spacecraft increases. This happens due to the gravitational pull of the planet. 
The second graph shows the energy relationship between the spacecraft and the planet. The red line provides the spacecraft kinetic energy, while the blue line provides the planet energy. We can see that the planet is losing kinetic energy, and the spaceship gains an equivalent amount of kinetic energy. However, the black line shows that the sum of both bodies' kinetic energy remains constant, which is in line with the law of conservation of energy. These results correspond well to our theoretical understanding and the slingshot effect and verify that the modeling we did is working perfectly. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, post them in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Education is our future. MATLAB is our future. Happy MATLABing.